Hello everyone and welcome back to our Sims 3 Warrior Cats Kitten spin-off series! Where we go ahead and we step off the main plot of the Warrior Cat series and take a few steps down alternative paths of what if and our curiosity as we pursue the thought of what had happened if uh, certain relationships had been different and certain cats had met at different times and resulted in a completely different story. So this time around my friends we were actually working Working with one of my favorite cats because cloud tail cloud tail don't worry I will not spoil for all of you who cloud tail is or really what I think more about cloud tail other than to say cloud tail is definitely one of the cats that has always stayed with me and I was able to give him my very fluffy tail behold the amazing Kalino's fantastic new er, well it's not new but her custom content for squirrels has now been applied to cloud tail so that he can actually have quite the cloudy tail look at that that. <laughs> I absolutely love him. I cannot wait to go ahead and see what kind of kits might result from a cat that is this fluffy. But good news for me, today's alternative universe story is actually going to combine none other than Cloudtail and Daisy! So Daisy is also a very, very fluffy cat, and she too is going to be having some of her own kittens added in it to the pile. And I'm really excited to see what happens if you basically take fluff and fluff and mix it together and make kittens. This is going to be quite fun. All right, and then for Cloudtail, just so you guys know, let me pop over into the library. Where on earth? Oh dear, I forgot to go ahead. Ah, Cloudtail is from Troll Pokemon. And Daisy is actually a quick custom creation because apparently nobody has put Daisy on the gallery. Do you know that is the first time, the first time I have popped onto the Sims 4 gallery and I have not been able to find a warrior cat. Come on, it's Daisy, you guys. How could we not have Daisy up on the gallery, honestly? But all right, my friends, we're going to, without any spoilers, uh, go ahead and we are going to step into a new story. So just like usual, we are going to come in and we are going to roll to see what the prompts from the pet clothing and custom content I have do in order to push this story together. And again, if there's like some age differences and stuff, remember an alternative universe setting also means that we can kind of sync everybody together so that their ages and where they meet and how they meet kind of makes a little more sense. A lot of things might be changing about where these perspectives are coming from, but all of that being said, let's go ahead and see. Cloudtail, you're gonna do one interesting thing that makes Daisy like really giggle and decide that you're the one. Clowntail is cracking jokes. He either makes a fool of himself, maybe with that gigantic, wonderful, fluffy tail of his getting stuck in something and Daisy has to help, or he's decided to become extremely playful, but something's telling me his tail got stuck. <laughs> and that he actually needs Daisy to come in and she stumbles upon him and decides to help him out. Let's roll five times. One, two, three, four, five. And she too gets stuck. That is going to be what I'm going to say about this story. She has a little kitty cat punk outfit on, a bell, she's got the shoes, but I think what is going to stand out for their love story is that she stumbles upon Cloudtail with his tail stuck and she starts helping him to get loose only to go ahead and get stuck herself. And then these two spend several long hours together, yelling for help and eventually getting to really know one another as they swap life stories and realize that maybe they have more than they thought in common while they wait for the rest of the clan to come and free them from their peril. <laughs> I love that! We haven't really had a story where both of the cats in question actually end up just being complete goofballs and that's how they end up having this connection. But there we have it! So Cloudtail and Daisy, since you had that afternoon of basically both being geese getting your tails stuck and everything together, let's go ahead and see what the lovely litter a few spoiler about Daisy. I'm really glad I thought twice about that, but we're gonna go ahead and see... <gasps> Hello, little one. Are you going to be super fluffy? Please be super fluffy because I think that would be so... Both your parents have blue eyes. 
So this is going to be quite interesting to see what our first little kitten born of such a silly afternoon is going to be like. And we have a curious and clever and territorial kitten who I think is very adamant about things being his. Oh, his eyes are a different color blue. Oh, he got one color blue eye from mom, one color blue eye from dad. That's really fun. And this little guy is going to be named Finch Spots. So Finch Spots, welcome, welcome. Uh, I really love the idea that he's actually super territorial about things. So he really doesn't want other clans to go ahead and like take his leaves or his sticks or let alone his prey. He's very much like, you can't, you can't step there. That's my clan's territory. And it's more like everything has to go back where it belonged. So maybe he doesn't attack a cat if they like wander into his territory, but if they moved things around or if they took something, even if it was just like a leaf, he has to put it back where it belongs because that's his, not yours, it's his. <laughs> Finch Spot, I think you're gonna be a very special kind of kitten. I think he, he, oh no, a cat has like walked into my territory. He cares less about that and more that you just don't move anything while you're there. <gasps> Another kitten with two colored eyes. Hello. Ooh, so this adorable little one is a female who is a spoiled prowler who is also very clever. I think we're having quite the litter of very smart cats here. And her name is actually going to be Plum Dawn. That's a really lovely name, wow. And she's kind of spoiled and she's a prowler. I think maybe because her brother Finch Spots is so like attentive to where all of the things are in their clan's territory, maybe she's a little spoiled because anytime she wants something fancy like honey or a treat or to know where the best like spot to get prey is, she can just ask Finch Spots. And he is so like concerned about everything in his clan being under his eye that he can direct the cats to where things are. So he probably doesn't like it if you move things you don't have to whilst you are going ahead and like hunting prey. Really talkative, we've had kittens who are really territorial, we've had that like array of gluttons. <gasps> and a little boy, hello! Oh he's so cute, I wonder if he's gonna be fluffy. He has two colored eyes too! What is going on here? Oh, I'm getting a little suspicious that we're basically like stuck in a genetic loop, but their heads are all different, so that must not be the case. All right, well, we have a talkative and skittish mischievous kitten whose name is going to be Scorch Minnow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear. And if he's talkative but skittish and mischievous, I think Scorch Minnow's story is going to be that he actually is afraid of everything. So he is the boy who cried wolf. He is basically going to be the cat where he hears something, it scares him, he runs off, he like dashes into the clan. He's like, everybody panic! We're getting raided by like a horde of three-headed dogs. And actually maybe it was just a very fat waddling raccoon like who is wandering through maybe with something stuck on its head from a dumpster. But I think Scorch Minnow, because he's so skittish and talkative he causes mischief not intentionally but because he's basically afraid of his own shadow i love that have we had a cat like that in the stories yet because that idea just trying to keep all these little ones in line let's go ahead and see are they basically all gonna they are all gonna look like her but the eyes are in different color sides this time so i mean yes this is working yeah, the kittens are all different. They're just all gonna look like their mom. They're just not taking on cloud feather or cloud tails, um, cloud tails coloring at all. And this one is going to be a glutton who is a frisky and a prowler. So definitely someone who constantly chases after his prey and tries to keep his hungry belly full. And his name is going to be Low Creek. Welcome, Low Creek. Welcome. Uh, maybe he goes like hunting for all sorts of animals up along the creek side. I could see that happening. And then what are his other traits? Yeah, I think he's just always chasing after food. A frisky prowler who's hungry all the time. He doesn't have time to like stick around. Matt's who maybe like has a little food on the side before he brings it back to the prey pile. Wow. Okay, this one just has like plain colored eyes, but dang, we're like ending up with everybody looking like Daisy this time. And this time we have a little boy who is an affectionate free spirit who is quite spoiled. And his name is actually Bird Step. I love that name. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love that name. 
Uh, affectionate and spoiled, huh? Maybe he kind of like goes up to Low Creek to get food. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm not getting that vibe. Bird step. Affectionate and spoiled. I think that he is a a overly friendly, kind of unintentionally flirtatious cat who maybe has a whole bunch of the queens and the females bringing him a bunch of food because uh, he's just super affectionate and he is just like such a free spirit and he just says really nice things so he's fun to hang around. So I think he's actually a cat that maybe some of the females kind of fight over but he doesn't really notice. It kind of goes over his head. So he's sort of spoiled by proxy of them trying to win his affection about them is like oh i'm just, I, like we're trying to get their attention or we're trying to win their affection somehow hello and your eyes are a different color <laughs> and they all look like mom i promise you the genetics are working but they just all are gonna look like mom and now we have a friendly skittish free spirit whose name is going to be none other than weasel toe Sorry, dude. It's not as bad as Flytail, so you're just gonna have to take it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, we've got like, I feel like these kittens, between the Finch Spots and then Plum Dawn and then Scorch Minnow, Low Creek, Bird Step, and Weasel Toe, two things. I feel like they are kind of a scattered group. So like they're just all over the place all the time. You can't really keep them all in one spot. They don't even really seem to play together. They're just all over the territory and you're constantly tripping over one of them. And two, I think it'd be really funny if it was actually really hard for a while to tell the difference between the kits. So everyone calls them the wrong name for a long time, even though they're supposed to smell different to the cats. And they get a little annoyed by that for quite a long time. I think that it would be kind of funny. All right, Finch Spots, let's go. Oh, look at that tail. Look at her fur. Oh, she's so beautiful, you guys. This is going to be so fun. We're going to have such fluffy cats. Cloud, Cloud Tail. Mm, yes, Daisy, I'm going to remember you two for future mixes with other cats. Just saying. But all right, the Dice of Destiny says that now that Finch Spots has grown up, let's see what her story is going to be with one, two three okay so she's gonna fight something big i'm kind of thinking maybe like a reptile or actually i kind of feel like maybe she's gonna fight um for some reason seeing her in this outfit makes me think that she's going to fight something in the water i kind of am thinking maybe she gets in a fight with like a two legs flotation device <laughs> Oh, I love this idea, actually. What if she gets in the fight with, like, some sort of leftover piece of, like, a, a bodyboard or something that floats on the water and the kids start playing on it? Like, maybe it was on the, the shore, but then the waves, like, crash it back in. And maybe it's one of those big flotation devices that are really durable, so it takes more than just one little kitten's pinprick to, like, make it explode and run out of air. But what if it actually looks like a monster? And then when it's laid there, still blown up for quite a while because it's super high quality, on the edge of the lake, the kittens and apprentices start playing on it. And then it gets caught in the water and it, like everyone's like, oh no, the monsters come to life and it's stealing the kittens. And Finch Spots leaps into the water and she claws at it and she's able to save the day by defeating it. I love that. Like the whole, like, the whole clan is traumatized because it was like the scariest day of their life. But it was really just all about the fact that, you know, it had something to do with <laughs> with a big inflatable toy that was left over by the two legs. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. Plum Dawn, you're up next, my dear. It looks like, oh no, her tail looks the same too, but her face looks different. I just think that these litter mates are going to be plagued most of their life with being mistaken for their like cohorts. And they're going to be constantly annoyed about that. All right. Meanwhile, Plum Dawn, I'm kind of getting some like vibes here that maybe she's not interested in any romance. Maybe some ace colors going on, but she does like shiny things. So, huh? Yeah, that's kind of the the. She's a little spoiled. She's clever. She's a free spirit, or she's a prowler. I'm going to say that she actually likes to collect some very pretty things and it keeps her den and maybe the clan territory super nice. And maybe she just doesn't want anything to do with romance. 
we're just gonna put that out there. Like, be a queen? Mm, nah, maybe she'll like adopt some stray kittens, but she's not really interested herself. Meanwhile, Scorch Minnow, let's bring you in. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I think Scorch Minnow's so relieved, he finally doesn't look like his sisters as he gets a little bit older. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and we are going to see one, two, three. Okay, huh, the white patterning, are, do we have it? And sushi, do we have it? Ah, oh, gosh, and between the skittish and the mischievous talkativeness, hmm, sushi and the white. Man, I'm drawing a blank on some of this, you guys. I think because he's just scared by everything, I actually think that maybe his greatest fear is plastic bags in the wind. And this poor cat somehow is just plagued by plastic bags flying in the wind. And every time he sees one, he's convinced it's some sort of terrible monster come to eat them. Uh, so he's gonna keep up his like, like calls of, of wolf for quite a long time. Also, amazing tale on Low Creek, who spends most of his time out hunting. Does he have other bits of story that come to him as a result? One, two. He's really good at stealth. I think Low Creek is gonna be that kind of cat that just bursts out of nowhere and he like tackles prey that's right in front of you. In fact, I have a feeling maybe they have to tell him to like calm down, back off. You're such a good hunter, we can't train our apprentices. Stop stealing the food from under their paws. And then Bird Step, who apparently a lot of the females spoil just because, he actually has the smallest tail and he looks so laid back. All right, let's see. We're gonna roll three times. One, two, three. <gasps> Bird Step! Oh, he turns into a bit of a spoiled punk with like pointy ears. Oh, you guys, I think that everyone took it a little bit too far. And I think bird step causes a lot of interclan drama because I think he got a little bit too spoiled. He kind of stops listening to the fact that there should be clown boundaries. Cause you know, if some of these lovely, lovely cats happen to have some food, why should he worry about if the fact that he's lounging in the wrong clan's territory? He's not doing anything, he's just sharing some food with a friend. What's your guy's problem, man? Yeah, I think that he actually causes trouble because he's the cat, bird step, oh, he's really starting to like become a character I love now. He's the cat where you're like minding your own business in your clan and you think it's all good and you go around a corner and you're like talking to one cat and then you turn and there's bird step again, lounging in your territory, looking like he's been there the whole time and he just puts up no fight, but he's just like, oh, come on. Like, do we really have to be like this? I didn't even eat anything this time just constantly crossing those lines. Let's bird step. And weasel toe. I feel like you, you bear the name as well as you can. He's got the fluffy tail. What are you gonna do with that name, weasel toe? One, two. Well. Well. Hot foot knit somehow? I don't know. Weasel toe. Weasel toe, you are a mystery. You are a mystery. I feel like, I feel like the vibes I'm getting from him are that he takes his paws where no cat really goes. He really pushes himself to explore spaces that other cats usually avoid, even if it's two leg territory or like the spooky scary camper of some two legs camping in the forest. Cause he's trying his best to figure out how to shake off like his name. <laughs> even if he's scared, he's the coward who pushes himself a little far because he feels like nobody takes him seriously. There you go. But all right, guys, this was fun. Even though every single kitten turned out to more or less look like Daisy, it was quite a wild ride and I would love to keep it going. So keep your suggestions for future potential kittens coming and let me know who was your favorite story this time around. Personally, I think we have a lot of cats who are scared of nothing and they all amused me this time, but Finch spots defeating the evil inflatable to save the kittens from being taken out by the lake monster. <laughs> Finch spots in the lake monster. What a cute short story. Oh my gosh. That's probably my favorite this round. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. Leave all of those suggestions down below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.